Welcome to All Tech Queries, a solution for all your technical queries. When transferring files with a storage device, some users face errors. One of the main reasons could be the bad sector of the disk. So, what is bad sector? Let us explain. In this video, we will explain what is bad sector, how bad sectors are formed, and how to remove bad sector. What is bad sector? Many users think that bad sector is a type of malware or virus that enters the hard disk. But, that's not true. So, before you understand what is a bad sector, you should understand how a hard disk works. Basically, a hard disk has several layers of plates divided by several sectors. A sector is a small part of the hard disk where data is stored. So, when one or more sectors are damaged, we call that area of the hard disk as bad sector. Look at the picture. All those sections are called sectors. The green color indicates that a sector is good and the red color indicates the bad sector. So, the disk on the left has no bad sectors, but the disk on the right has formed some bad sectors. How bad sectors are formed? Basically bad sectors equals damaged sectors. The sector can be damaged due to various reasons. Some of them are when the hard disk takes physical damage. When you suddenly remove the hard disk while copying or moving files. When the storage device is disconnected due to power loss while active. If the reader writer head is physically damaged. When the external hard disk is moved when transferring files. If you use the disk a lot. If you format the disk several times. When you copy files, they are not copied in a serial order. They are divided into several parts and are copied to different sectors. Therefore, when Windows try to copy data on a bad sector, you will get an error, and the copying process stops. However, the copying process is successful when the data is copied to the good sectors of the hard disk. Hence, we usually encounter errors while copying large files, as the probability of meeting the bad sectors is more when copying large files. Bad sectors can be formed in any storage device. Whether it be internal hard disks, pen drives, external hard disks, flash drives, etc. However, the chances of getting bad sectors is more on external storage devices as we do not handle them with care. How to remove bad sector Sometimes bad sectors can be removed using full format. However, there is no guarantee. Most of the time, bad sectors are permanent. So, you can take the storage device to the technician who will lock out the bad sectors of the hard disk. That will help you use the other part of the hard disk. Example, if you have a hard disk of 2 GB, and the bad sector covers 500 MB, then the bad sector will be locked, and you will be able to use the 1.5 GB. You should now assume that the hard disk capacity is 1.5 GB only. If you leave the hard disk as it is, you won't be able to copy slash move large files as Windows will also attempt to add files to the bad sectors. Moreover, you should also change the reader head if required. As we mentioned earlier, a faulty or damaged reader head can create bad sectors. So, you can take the help of a technician who can replace the reader head and avoid further damage. Or the reader head will keep damaging more sectors of your hard disk. Conclusion it is hard to remove bad sectors from a hard disk. So, it is better to take precautions and prevent causing bad sectors. You might also lose your important data due to bad sector. If your drive has bad sectors, you can either use utility tools or take it to a technical to lock out the bad sectors. So, have you ever faced bad sector issue? Comment below and share your experience with us. If the video was helpful, like our video and subscribe to our channel All Tech Queries, for more tech-related, informative videos, and how-to tutorials. Follow us on other platforms as well. Links in description. Thank you.